Okay, time for just another quick video. Um, to fill in on what's happened, I'll go back down here. These were actually the uh, templates used for the um, the legs. As you can sort of see in the first video, I actually used this as a mock-up just to check functionality and the like. Well, there you go, they're the ones that are done. And as you can see, I've uh, actually made two legs proper. Let's sort of go back a bit, you might be able to get them in there. There they are, two legs proper. Um, that uh, actually will sort of, uh, in and of themselves, complete a demonstration of the walking gait. Uh, the cylinders are in the same position as before. Uh, brackets holding them on now are actually shelf brackets uh, from the local scrapyard, I see. They were selling a few shelf brackets. Uh, they're so much cheaper than, um, than anything else, and uh, for the purposes of this test, they're all that's required. Um, but everything's basically uh, bolted together and uh, ready to go. Uh, again, uh, what I've done is just neaten things up a little bit here. Uh, essentially, now I've got four millimeter, the the red four millimeter pipe, uh, leading out, and it's fed by uh, the the blue six millimeter pipe from the compressor. And you follow the pipe down. Compressor's on the floor there with the battery. Okay, it's just slightly quieter if it's down there. Um, for the uh, control purposes, uh, as before, I've got a small small speed controller here. It's not reversible, so uh, but you know, uh, if I just turn the control, you can see the cam's, the cam's moving the uh, the uh, the two valve plungers there, and everything's everything's working pretty much as the previous video. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just run the system again so you can just sort of see these, these legs. It might be easier to see how things are when you see two identical legs uh, moving, moving as indeed they should. So I'm just going to start the compressor up. Okay, turn that on. Okay, it's, um, it's uh, stopping at around about three bar, which is what I'm proposing to run this thing on uh, when it's finished. And so I'll start up the... Uh, start up the it's going away there, and hopefully you can sort of see the leg movement there. So basically, it's um, I'll just let it work for a bit. Okay, I'm going to go up to full speed now. If this thing was, uh, as it were, on the floor and it had uh, all the other legs attached, the thing would actually be moving towards the garage wall. Okay, that's the direction it's actually going in. So, yeah, I think that's right. It's very difficult to tell when it's going so fast. I think we'll turn it down a bit. Yeah. No, I think it's going away from the garage wall actually, it's going sort of towards me more. Yeah, yeah that's right, it's going towards me. As you can sort of see it's chugging along quite nicely. I'll turn that off a moment. As you can sort of see, um, it all seems to operate perfectly well at those kind of pressures and uh, so forth. So, so far, so good. Um, I'm just going to do a weighing on the actual. See how much two legs and that um, and that uh, beam weighs. See, see how close we can get to the 27.2 kilos, which is the maximum for this class of robot. But uh, yeah, so far, so good. Thanks for watching.